Welcome. My name is October, and this is actually one of my favorite games. Uh, I'm actually a brand new YouTuber, and you're actually currently watching my first video. This is going to primarily be a mostly unedited, mostly raw video where it's just me kind of talking. I don't think I'm always gonna know what to talk about. It's gonna primarily just be me winging it. So the game that is currently in front of you is the PS2 version. There was a PS3 and then a PlayStation 4 Pro variant of this game and I kind of thought it would be better to play well, the original kind of felt like the best way to start off playing some games on YouTube would to be play my favorites so I thought this was a good start. Now, I had previously played this a long time ago, so this isn't a completely fresh game for me. But I've only played it a handful of times, so the charm should still be there. I will probably be quiet during all the cutscenes, just so you uh, can understand the story and get a feel for everything.
I use the Yulakol Doloy. Only all the Zulam cause. Il Zuzeriku at Yoko. I'm no screwed. Lao Museum Walk was you and the Ulaz also. Few hours in the Ikoral Kizado Yulola. Isn't this what I used to? Oh, Miss Kiki. You are a lucky car. ライブはもちろんライクは。ウィジェットリアズをとどこ。わしのできょうてるや。I it knows all the armies of Alu Tiklik, if the least two is. I was to give to small, no sons and kids, no quarters. On the drums around, I were confused. I was not to give a quarter. I were to give to small. You too. You bet, Sanada.
Okay, so... I'm gonna kinda try to keep that oath where I don't talk during the cutscenes. So I'm sorry if it seems like I haven't really even spoken much. But most YouTubers tend to talk during pretty important dialogue. And I don't think I want to be that kind of person, just, at least just yet. Plus, this is one of my favorite games, and it's very important to me, so I want to do right by it and show every little ounce of detail that I possibly can. So, I think I'm going to try to make... What the hell are you doing? I think I'm going to try to make around hour-long videos, at least in the beginning. And I'm going to try to stick to 6th generation games. That would just be uh, PlayStation 2, the original Xbox, and the GameCube. And for the most part, I'm going to be alone. So it'll just be me recording these videos and editing them when I can. I don't really have a consistent schedule that I believe I'm going to keep. I think I'm just going to kind of upload sporadically. That's probably why I'm not streaming, because I can't really keep a uh, consistent schedule right now. So, on the PlayStation 2 variant of this game, it is very plain. There is not a lot going on. And that kind of adds to the beauty of it, actually. There's no open world aspect kind of like this. It's very plain. It's kind of just like toast buttered toast but it's the best toast there are no like tiny tiny enemies to fight in this overworld it's just the colossi that uh, Dorman was mentioning and that's it that's all of the enemies in this game I think there is 16 if I do remember correctly which is really interesting because I think the uh, creator of the game wanted originally what was it 48 maybe don't quote me on this but maybe 48 I think it was knocked down to 24 and then eventually 16 so this game was supposed to be a lot bigger than it actually is. How do I... This is how you save, I think. I don't know. Well, I'm gonna go fight the first Colossus. And then... I'll see if I can save. Yeah, over there. So, I'm recording this on an actual PlayStation 2 using uh, an upscaler, or like a RetroTINK 5X, I think. And I'm going to try to do that as much as I can. I don't really want to have any non-legitimate copies of the games I play. So, any gameplay that I record is going to be from the original console and an actual copy of the game. I think just because I'm a little bit of a nerd, and I like physical and legitimate stuff. I was actually originally 
hesitant to make a, uh... What are you doing? I was hesitant to make a uh, video on the PlayStation 2 variant of this game because you cannot turn off the music. Now, I'm still very new to the whole YouTube copyright thing, but I thought that if you, uh, I thought if you, um, had, like, licensed music in a game, you could get, like, copyright striked, and I don't want that. I'm not really trying to make any money off of this. I'm I'm planning on having a career and I'm going to college and all that, but I just didn't want to have any issues. So, just kind of new to all this, trying to work my way around it. But so far, I've learned that it's pretty okay. I did some testing where I uploaded a little bit of a, the intro and then a couple other scenes with some music in it and it really didn't get copyright striked immediately, so I think I'm okay and safe to do this game. I could be horribly wrong, though. I always thought this was funny. Just coming out here. Uh, yeah, I thought this was funny. You just shoot an arrow at this guy. He stops. Turns around. And it's just like, who the hell shot that arrow? And then it just sees the equivalent of like, a cockroach. But yeah. That's a colossus. They are big. Okay, is there a roll in this game? Okay. I think that's all I got. And the frames per second on the uh, PS2 are really slow like they're they're not great but again that kind of adds to the charm So, you take down the Colossus by climbing on them and revealing their weak points and stabbing said weak points. I... shoot. I gotta remember how to properly do this. It's been a few years. I say a few, but it's probably been like eight. Okay. I know I can kind of get him down by just poking him. Okay. Okay. 
And that little, uh, pink circle is your stamina. Like, the smaller that gets, uh, the less stamina you have. If it runs, if it gets super tiny, that's it. You fall off. And this is one of his weak spots. So it's better to charge this up than do it. Come on, come on. Easy. Alright. Do not want to get greedy with this guy. Okay, gonna let off. Get some stamina back. Try not to fall off. Oh, yeah. On to the first one. All right, I think I remember where that guy is. Also, I think this horse's name is Abro, like A-B-R-O. He's a big horse. So when I was younger, uh, Oh, 
Alright, that's why I couldn't use it before. Uh, so when I was younger, I wasn't really interested in super modern games. So I just always looked back. And always looked upon the past and really enjoyed stuff like this. The Shadow of the Colossus is one of my favorite games because it's unfinished. It's, I mean, there's a lot of games nowadays that are unfinished, <laughs> but um, this one was kind of like an unfinished painting. What it was was still great. Okay, hold on. so I need to make sure I'm going the right way. Uh, and I know it's down there, but do I get down over there? Yeah, eh, that's okay. Yeah. Um, and I'm really into music, yeah. really into yeah. video game OSTs. Been a real big fan of Halo and a lot of other like orchestra-like type soundtracks. So, this one was an immediate hit for me. Absolutely loved it. Yeah. And I'm actually kind of glad that the game won't allow me to turn off the music because, frankly, the music is a big part of this game. And I'm kind of glad that yeah. I have that opportunity to just kind of keep it in. I don't know if you could get on that bridge. I know you can climb up that tower, but you have to get these uh, little stamina upgrades. I think they're like lizards. But you actually can get, I think, into a garden up there. and It's really pretty. Am I going past where I need to go? Yeah. No. I think I'm good. So playing this game after seeing the, uh, the PlayStation 4 version is like night and day. It's... super intense because Bluepoint remade this game and those guys man they turned this game into something else and I feel like playing the PS2 variant just because well I I'm gonna try to stick to 6th gen games and this is well, a 6 gen game. But the blue point is... The blue point, like, remake of this game is amazing. I might eventually play that on the channel. But for now, I'm just kind of sticking to some humble beginnings. They're all based off of a... Uh, at least I think they're all based off of an animal. I know they all have uh, unique names. 
the community names. Stuff that isn't technically official, but stuff that the community has given them, and I, it just kind of stuck. I don't know all their names off the top of my head, but I'll probably do some research on them. Okay. I think this guy's weak spot is under the hoof. I think we have to kind of bait him to jump. Yep. Hold on. Okay. Will I make this? Will I, will I, will I? Yes. Maybe. Keep thinking X is jump. I think that's what I had it set to. Frames are really dying. Can I get his back foot? I need to get this guy to turn around. Got him. I didn't actually think it did. Okay, come on. Don't fall off, don't fall off, don't fall off, don't fall off. Come on, okay. I think that's good enough. So, the last Colossus only had one weak spot, and all of them from here on out are going to have multiple. And this guy has a lot more health than the last one. Okay, and you see 
that weak spot is now depleted. So I gotta go find another. He's a very angry boy. I mean, yeah, it makes sense. I think the second one is on his head. Yep. Just need one more. I always try to run from those things. I mean, I know what they are, but... And I know you can't get away from them, I just... I just tend to do it. I still want to do it. I still want to run away. Yes, please. So I got all the way up to eight of them defeated when I played this probably close to a decade ago. I am going to try and fight all these guys just from memory. Oh, there you are. But they all have kind of like something unique about them. Like some unique way to defeat them. I think there are a couple that sort of repeat, but uh, this is definitely one of the most unique ones. The third guy.
Sick. It's on like a big platform, I think. So the upscaler I'm using is definitely made a 480p game, 1080. <laughs> it does not look great, but it's still very much playable. It has kind of like that old charm to it, and I'm sure playing it on a CRT would uh, be even better. Playing this on a PC monitor. Oh, and just in case if, like, you don't know what I'm doing, uh, this kind of guides me in their general direction, and it's a, uh, it's only, like, half the navigation, though. I mean, you still have to, like, kind of walk around the map and figure out where you're going, like, uh, The path is... There, there's going to be very... Uh, variations of the same path. Like, we just crossed that bridge, and then we'll go up and to the left, but now we're kind of going through this little chasm. But we also go, like, hard left at some point. So it's kind of hard not to get lost if you have never played this before. I'm thinking about getting one of those little uh, lizards for, uh, and th those guys are the things that give you a little bit of an extra stam boost. Like these lizards right here are just goofy. They don't really give you anything. It's the white-tailed ones. I think. And I think those guys only appear at shrines or something, where you can save the game. Alright, get as close as I can, and then I'm swimming. I thought the stam was decreasing while being in the water. It's not. Now, now it is. So, after I beat Shadow of the Colossus, I have a few other games lined up. And I haven't quite narrowed down what I want to do yet. I'm kind of just sticking with childhood favorites, and then... Maybe I'll get some suggestions later on. Okay. Oof. This is not Assassin's Creed. <laughs> Normally I don't really have a fear of heights in games, but something about this one is just something else. Yeah, this is the guy that was on the uh, PS4 posters and stuff. He's kind of like the iconic one.
Oh, now he notices me. So, I remember you have to kind of crawl up. Yep. Yeah, crawl up that uh, sword he has. But you also have to break his shoulder because uh, you can't climb up it. And I think you have to bait him into uh, hitting this, like, metal pad or stone pad or whatever. So I think I'm going to have to bait him to a corner. change color. that really worked in my favor you kind of how close to the edge can he get It's not Dark Souls. <laughs> Is he going to do it? I'm gonna try circling it and have him follow me on the outer ring and then I'll close in. This might actually work. Okay, that did not work. Close, though. Very close. I think it's, I might just try to stand on it. Oh, he's giving me the petty hint. There it is. Just need to bait another shot. No, 
now I need to run up the sword like this is an anime. Mm. Come on. Okay. I wonder if this guy has a smelly armpit. Okay, come on. He's gonna kind of stay on his nape. saying come on okay so there the eyes turn from orange to blue it's a small detail i didn't know does this still have more okay now it's done Not the arm. Okay, that gets on the belly. Now how I get onto the stomach, I don't know. Actually, I'm gonna climb down the back. Is that the last one? No, this is the last one. Zelda? Yes, I would.
All right. Well, that was the third Colossus. I think there are 13 left. Five, six, seven, eight. Yep, 13. Um, so I guess we just hit an hour. I will end the video in just a minute or so. But I just kind of want to thank everybody who actually watched this all the way until the end. This game has always been a really deeply connected game to me and I guess a lot of people so just seeing this game again makes me feel very happy and I'm glad that I'm now able to record it and eventually upload it to YouTube and have something permanent on the internet unless YouTube gets shut down, but I highly doubt that would happen. At least in the near future. But I've wanted to do this for so long. Record videos. And I'm glad that I'm actually finishing my first one. It feels kind of unreal. I know it won't really take off or anything like that but that's not really what I wanted to do or what I'm here for I'm just kind of here for me and if it takes off I mean that's great but no matter what I've accomplished my goal today and that makes me feel happy I feel like I've actually done something good for not only myself but for the few people who will see this. Alright. I appreciate you guys. And. The second episode will. Be here relatively soon. Maybe in the next couple of days. Thank you and. Goodbye.